Hello friends, so based from the community poll that I made last week in my channel, out of all the 5 options, more people want me to create a guide for Gingerbread Joyride, especially now that we have the Dev Times update. And so, that's what I'm going to do right now. So we are going to approach this in such a way that I am going to divide the tracks per segment. For example, we're going to begin with the starting line, and then to the blue fire pad, up to the blue fire pad, and then from the blue fire pad to the first shortcut, and then to the turbo pad ramp, currently what is being shown on the screen, and so on. Alright, so I have a personal gameplay video right here, which is up against the dev. So basically, I'm just going to share with you guys on how I defeated him. Okay, so I will let a video of mine play first and then proceed to analyzing it. Analyzed on how many power slides I did, where I jumped, where I switched, etc. Up, oh, we stop there. Then go back. Okay, of course, once the race begins, you will need to jump and then power slide immediately. Should be towards the left since the next path is towards your left. And you should do at least three consecutive perfect turbo boosts here. So that the moment you go over the turbo pad, the SF turbo pad, you can maintain the SF. It helps a lot. One. Two, three, bam. Okay, so you don't have to follow the exact racing lines that I am going through in this video. Like, for example, um, here you can see that I am power sliding around this area, meanwhile, the ghost is power sliding in that area. So, just, just accordingly, according to your preference, whichever is easier for you, you can power slide here, or you can copy me, or you can power slide a little bit further. Then once you get the turbo boost, the SF boost from the turbo pad, you jump again and then do another power slide, still towards the left because the next path is towards the left. Okay, as you can see there, I only did a good boost. And it's okay because we already have much stored reserves before the first turbo pad. And then here you will want to switch your position again because the next path will be towards the right. And that means you must be power sliding to the right. Anyway, by the way, so my controller is also there. So you can see the, bot the buttons I am pressing. So the moment you face to the right side, you would want to press the opposing side, the, the opposite direction of your controller so that you can maintain a straight boost. Because if you continue pressing right, then you are going towards the wall. So do only a single perfect turbo boost there. That should do it. And then you will need to jump again, but this time you will be facing left because as you can see here once we go into this path the next one will be towards the left so jump again and then face to the left and then press the oppo op press the opposing direction so that you can maintain a straight path as much as possible one turbo boost again then here once we go here you jump again do another power slide facing towards the right because the next path is to the right side. Then you will do, you, and then here you can do three consecutive turbo boosts. Now that will provide you a lot of reserves for your blue fire pad. And to make it even easier for you guys, I made a sketch here. I made a sketch yesterday night. 
so that it would be clearer. I right, so the brown line indicates the starting line here, and then the blue curves indicate the power slides, the areas where you need to power slide and to do turbo boost. Then here you can also see 3x, 1x. Basically, that means um, you need to turbo boost three times, and then here one time, one time, one time, and then three times again before the shortcut. Okay, and then the green indicates the turbo pad. So here we have the SF pad, and then here we have the blue far pad. And then finally, the black one indicates the walls. So you can just pause here if you want to analyze it further to remember it. Oh, I forgot. For the orange ones, for the orange circles here, they indicate areas on where you will be jumping. Alright, so the next path that we are going to cover is the one towards the shortcut. If you already know how to do this, then skip. If not, then I'll give you a few tips on how to do it easily. So, what you need to remember is that you need to stay at the right side. Basically, minimize the distance that you need to cover towards the fence, over the fence. <laughs> so, it's gonna be here. Not here, okay? Because you will be going at this ramp <laughs> stay at the right side as close to this ramp wall as much as possible and then jump steer to the right you may need to press the u-turn buttons for a brief moment here because that's what i did by reflex but yeah it helped me to better position myself so that i can get a so that I can go to a straight line the moment I land to this shortcut. So that wasn't really straight. Anyway, so just as much as possible, try to do a straight line on that path. And you don't have to be really afraid of the walls now. I mean, they st you're still prone to losing your fire, but they are more... They are more forgiving now. They are more forgiving now. So and then after that, you power slide again to at least one turbo boost. Perfect, of course. Then jump at the ramp. Also for the ramps, guys, according to the pros, thank you to Nower for this knowledge, by the way, and to BX. Um, jump early at these ramps because the less air time, the faster you are. Okay? And once again, I have a diagram or a sketch I made last night for the shortcut path. So, yellow indicates the shortcut entrance, which is the fence. Black indicates the walls. Red indicates the driving, the driving path, which is straight. And then blue indicates the driving path where you need to power slide and turbo boost. Which is one, what I said earlier. And then the violet lines indicate the lower elevation walls, since, as you know. And then turbo pad, the green one. So just pause here if you need to remember it. Okay, so the next path that we are going to cover is from here up to here. Basically, the curve part of gingerbread joyride and i don't have a diagram for this because i believe that this is the easiest part of the track anyway let's watch how i did it first oh we stopped there for the ramp go back go back analyze okay so once again, try to jump early at the ramps. And then the moment we land here, power slide towards the right because we need to go to the right. Do, do turbo boost while doing that, of course. And then you will notice here that I press the user and buttons for a brief moment. Wait. There we go. Press the U-turn buttons for a brief moment here. 
it's to allow me to continue hugging the corners the, this corner as speed because if you don't if you don't press the u-turn buttons you will be going onto the farther path the ghost also goes there so i think it's okay if you also choose to not to do a quick u-turn there <laughs> but it does help save time Oh, and if you opt to not U-turn there, I believe you will continue to power slide around this area. And you will be able to do three consecutive turbo boosts. Three consecutive perfect turbo boosts. And that is okay, at least you get a lot of reserves. You just do turbo boost here up until the shortcut. Once you reach the shortcut, jump, press the U-turn buttons, power slide immediately facing the left because the next path will be towards the left the next path will be towards the left and then just turbo boost accordingly as many as you can okay finally we are going to cover the final segment which is from this up to the finish line so a total of three ramps and that means a total of three jumps We'll also be doing around 4 to 5 turbo boosts here. So let's go. Okay, there we go. Browse back again. Mm -hmm. But this ramp, jump early. Then here, jump early again. You can cut the corner here. Then once you land, power slide towards the left since the next path is going towards the left. Do at least one turbo, turbo boost. Perfect. If you are not quite near the wall. Wait. Like for example, um, if you land further from the wall, then I believe you can do two turbo boosts instead of just one. So if, you're, if you landed similarly to where I am, then just do a single one. It's okay. And then at this ramp, I said earlier to jump early at the ramps, but maybe there are a few exemptions. I mean, just to be safer, Jump at the peak of this one so that you can cut the wall at the left. There we go. Then jump at the ramp and then the next path is going towards the right side. So power slide towards the right. And then once you're facing the right, hold, <laughs> hold left. Hold the left button of your D-pad so that you can... Drive straight while power sliding. Also, you can do at least one perfect turbo boost here. Jump again and then next path is going towards the left. So power slide towards the left and then once facing there, press the, op the op opposing direction again, which is right. To maintain a straight line path. And then as you can see here, I press the U-turn buttons. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. There we go. As you can see here, I press the U-turn buttons because that will allow me to continue hugging the wall and approaching this faster instead of just power sliding. Because if you continue to power slide instead... If you continue to power slide instead, you will be going around this area, farther to the right. Once you get here, do a few turbo boost, two, then extra, okay. Bonus part, since 
I covered this area with just SF earlier. The approach is now different since we have blue fire starting lap 2 and so on. Okay, so like in lap 1, I mean as usual, the next path is towards the left. So you would want to be power sliding towards the left. And then jump as you are about to go left or basically U-turn. Press the U-turn buttons when you are about to go to the left. Like what I did here. With the controller. And then you, the moment you land to the next path, you will need to be power sliding and you should be able to pull off a single turbo boost. One. After one, jump immediately. Or you turn immediately to the left again. You turn immediately to the left. And during airtime of this mini jump, you need to face the right side. Since the next path is towards the right. Okay. Bam. And then you turn immediately again towards the right. Airtime. Face the left. Power slide to the left. There we go. Do at least one turbo boost. We'll be jumping here again. And then face right while power sliding. Do three consecutive turbo boosts. One, two, three. By the way, so for the jelly aces here, always stay at the center. If you are fast enough, whenever you reach this part of the track, they will always be at the sidelines. Okay, so just a quick summary before I end this video. So for sharp corners like this, you would always want to power slide while facing towards the next path. Either to the left or to the right. And then do at least a single turbo boost every time. And then... You would always want to power slide at a slanting position. Like for example, starting from this wall to this wall, the minimum distance is to just power slide a straight path or something like this because if you power slide around this area instead it's much longer although it's safer but yeah, if you want to really improve your times on CTR then you have to master cutting corners and hugging the walls and besides that for ramps, remember to jump early. For certain ramps, you may need to jump really high depending on what you need to skip. So basically that's it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. If you want me to make more track guides similar to this, just comment down below and specify the specific track which you are having difficulty with beating the dev times. And that's it. See you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Love ya.